Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome or welcome back. This is Baking Budgets. I'm a 24 year old cash budgeter stuffer here in Washington State. And today I want to show you guys a way that changed my budgeting lifestyle forever. So to give a bit of backstory, my husband and I, we got married a couple of years ago and I will say so myself, we were very young when we got married. At the time that we got married, I had never even paid a bill in my whole life. I mean, we got married when I was 20 and he was 21. So we were both very young and we didn't really have any financial uh, education from either of our parents or anything like that really we had no financial backstory no financial education or anything like that so really i learned all of this on my own and that's why i really want to share it with you guys today so when we first got married we were living on a single income because i was finishing up college so because of that i budgeted away or both my husband and i we both budgeted in a way that i think a lot of people budget today um, I know a couple of my family members budget this way and I was one of them as well. I budgeted this way for a couple of years um, before I figured out a different way. So I first want to go over, I would say, a more traditional way of budgeting that I think a lot of people do. And that would be paying the bills that come out of every paycheck until your next paycheck. So. I wrote this down here and I'll go ahead and highlight what I'm talking about. So for example, I have the month of July and I have the month of August. So here I have July 26th and this is the day that my husband gets paid. He gets paid every other Friday. And then if we come into August, my husband will get paid again on the 9th and then he'll get paid again on the 23rd and so forth. So what I went ahead and did is I'm showing you guys exactly how I used to budget a couple years ago. And what I used to do is I would say, okay, my husband gets paid on this day, the 26th. And I want to write down all the bills that come out until his next paycheck. So as you can see, I only have one bill that comes out between the 26th paycheck and the 9th paycheck. And that's Netflix, right? Then I write down all the bills that come out between the ninth paycheck and the 23rd paycheck. As you can see here, this is where it started to become a problem for us every single time. And I'll show you why. So, for example, um, Netflix, it only costs $34. Well, thankfully, we were able to, able to lower that now. But Netflix costs $34. So say my husband makes three thousand dollars i will go ahead and subtract i would do three thousand dollars minus thirty four dollars and thirteen cents that leaves us with two thousand nine hundred and sixty five dollars and eighty seven cents to use until his next paycheck and that is awesome that is super awesome love that until we get here where you, as you can see, a lot more of our bills come out of, come out between the ninth and the 23rd paycheck. So that would be rent of 1,100, loan of 300, Toyota of 500, Spotify of 19 around there, insurance of 261, electric and gas of 150, life insurance of $62. All of that due before the next paycheck so let's go ahead and budget it and we'll add everything up so say once again starting with 3000 now we're going to minus 1100 minus 300 minus 500 minus 19 minus 261 or we'll just say 262 minus 150 minus 62. now we have a significantly lower amount now of course, back when we got married, my husband was not making $3,000 every single paycheck, but he was making way less than that, less than even half of that at the time. But as you guys can see, and I'm sure other people feel this way too, that sometimes the problem with budgeting this way is that you 
become used to or you get excited when you see that you have a large amount left over when you have a pay period that you don't have a lot of bills to pay. But when you do have the pay period during this time, where a lot of your bills come out, especially your rent or your mortgage, which more than often that is the largest payment that a lot of people have, that is when you might start to struggle a little bit because now a huge amount of your paycheck went towards the larger bills you have, like I said, the rent or the mortgage. And so when that happened to us, we found ourselves that we were short. We always were maybe having to put something on a credit card or we were like, let's just try and wait till the next time you get paid. And that just kept putting us in this cycle where we were using the credit cards or trying to wait, trying to wait or using the credit cards. And it really wasn't working out for us. So I know this works out for a lot of people. However, this doesn't really work out for us because I like to have kind of a set amount of bill money come out every time my family gets an income so that way i kind of am familiarized with how much we're going to have left over to pay off any debt to pay off or to have money for daily spending such as groceries gas eating out and as well as sinking funds so i'll show you guys how you can budget that way and this way that i'm about to show you is how i've been budgeting for i would say the last two to three years and it has made saving money staying on budget and staying out of credit card debt for us an absolute game changer so let me go ahead and show you guys how i do that so i just have a notebook here and i have my calculator here and i'm going to show you guys the very first step in how to budget um the way that i like to budget so and i'm going to use my real life numbers my real life bills everything i'm going to lay it all out for you guys so you can see how i do it step by step so the very first thing that i'm going to do that i this is exactly how i do it every time is i write out all of my bills it doesn't matter what day they come out or what's their amount i'm going to write down everything so i'm going to first start off with phone and i'm going to do 76 dollars and the reason why I do $76 is because we have Mint Mobile and I totally, totally recommend it. If you're, as long as your phones have to be paid off, they can't be financed. Um, Cause then essentially you're only paying for the line cause Mint Mobile just offers the line. Next is our life insurance. And let me go ahead and grab my, cause I also have, do use the cash budgeting system. So I'm just going to set off to the side here. Don't worry about it, guys. I will get into all of this later, but this is just for me to see, um, to remind myself of which bills I have so I don't forget. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, so next is I have life insurance and this is 97. Next, I have insurance. This is just regular car insurance, renter's insurance, all of that. And that is 277 and i'm writing down how much it is every single month and then i have netflix and that is 34 dollars a month next is electric and gas and i estimate it around to be 150 dollars gym 39 Spotify, 19, loan is 300, our car payment is not 500, I like to pay 500, so I write 500, and then rent is 1,100, and then last but not least is Disney Plus is $11. Okay, so I've wrote out every single one of the bills that I have, and I'm going to go ahead and total it up. So, okay, there we go. 
a total of $2,603 is the total amount that I need to have for the month of August or just really any month to pay my bills. Now, what I like to do is I like to divide this number by the amount of paychecks that we will be getting in that one month. So my husband gets paid twice. So I will go ahead and divide it by two. So 2,603 divided by two comes out to $1,301.50. So I would just round that up to $1,302. Per paycheck. That is the amount now that I have to budget per paycheck in order to pay my bills. And the reason why I love doing this is because I know for a fact that how much I will have to take out of every paycheck for one month. Then, you know, once I go into the month of September, I'll do the same thing. I'll write down all my bills and, you know, usually things like phone and Netflix, gym, those things don't change. But of course, you know, water, electricity, gas, things like that can vary depending on the time of the year, weather and water usage, all of that. But for the time being, and for the most part, all your loans and rent and other things, they, it, they stay pretty consistent. So that's why I really love doing this because then I know exactly how much will be coming out every single paycheck. And because of that, I'm always left with usually if my husband works the same amount of hours every time, um, we are able to, or at least we have been able to, um, over these last few years really become accustomed to this way of budgeting and it really helps us stay on track and it really helps us stay on budget because compared to the first way of budgeting that I showed you guys this is more consistent as to how much is going to come out um, and especially when it comes to to daily spending like on groceries and gas and eating out I take a look at it over a two-week period of time because he gets paid you know two times every month so every two weeks and because of that it just makes it so much easier for us to budget and we're able to save around the same amount of money per paycheck every time and that has also helped us reach our savings goals significantly faster compared to the way that we were doing it the other way um, that I showed you at first because like I said when it came to the time that we had a lot of bills that were due we had used our credit cards because the money ran out because we paid our rent we paid our insurances we paid the car payments and now we have you know just not enough money or we overspent or whatever the case was so that when it came time that we got paid again we had to pay off our credit cards so it was just like i said this vicious cycle where we were just really not getting anywhere any money that we had saved went back to paying credit cards and it was just not a good cycle for us until i started doing it this way and i will say this the only thing that will make it hard to get into this form of budgeting where you divide it by your paychecks even if you get um, i also want to say like say your bills are 2603 even if you get paid four times a month every single week because at one point my husband was getting paid four times a week you would just divide it by four and every week every paycheck that's the amount that you would set aside um for your bills and then whatever money is left over divide that amongst if you have debt to pay uh groceries gas daily spending sinking funds savings etc so i just wanted to put that out there but yeah guys so oh yes i was gonna say the only caveat to budgeting this way is that you of course have to save at least half before you can get into the system so for example not only while you're getting your money ready to pay your bills you would have to save this amount at least one time one time and after you save that money one time and you have this amount saved up 
before your next paycheck, on the next paycheck after you have this saved up, you can immediately start budgeting this way and never have to go back to the other way. So I just want to put up, put that out there because obviously if you're like, okay, well, I want to do the halfway, I want to do the halfway or the quarter type of budgeting system, but how do I get that money even going in the first place when I'm still trying to pay the other bills? So real quick, some ways that helped us to get there is number one, if my husband got any overtime, uh, for example, we know that his paycheck was say $1,200, uh, every two weeks. If there was ever a time when he got maybe $1,300, $1,400, that extra money that he got from overtime immediately, we put it in a savings account and we didn't touch it. At the time, um, I was baking, I was making cakes and cupcakes and uh, just doing every, <laughs> any type of side hustle that I could, um, babysitting, writing papers, just, you know, tutoring, anything like that, any extra money that we made between each other, we put it into that account and we didn't touch it. And you know what? Yeah, it took us a while. It took us a couple weeks to get there. But ever since we got there and we were able to save the half amount of what our total monthly bills are, we have never left this way of budgeting and I never plan to. So guys, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys today why I love budgeting this way because I think a lot of people, if you're familiar, familiarized with the cash budgeting system, a lot of people I've seen budget this way, they totally love it. I'm totally for it. So I just wanted to let you guys know um, this is how I love budgeting. I've been doing it for a very long time now and I will never go back the other way. Thanks, you guys, so much for hanging out with me today and listening to me about a little bit about myself and how I got to be able to budget this way. And in my next video, I will show you exactly how I budget my own bills given. And I will also show our income as well. And I will also show you after this step, where do I distribute my money next? And just to give you a little hint about what I do next is I do bills, any credit card debt or minimum payments, daily spending cash, and in that I include groceries, gas, any dining out, eating out, coffee, um, as well as a household category such as for like shampoos, um, laundry detergent, and last but not least, I have sinking funds and savings. So if you guys are interested in how I use this exact way of budgeting using my own income and my real numbers, stay tuned for that video, guys. I will have it up next. Thanks, guys. Bye.